Welcome back to another R&DW Adventures Junk Fooding Edition. I'm Daryl. And I'm Renee. And today we have... Bacon! Bacon. And we have this... Bacon on the go. Pre-cooked, individually wrapped bacon. Instead of jerky. Uh-huh. But it's interesting Which flavors. It says you can have hot or cold. So we're going to try it room temperature. But we've got uh, uh, habanero heat, which is the one that I'm thinking is most exciting. Right. We have the sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. We have spicy, or sorry, sweet, sweet. not spicy, sweet. Mm -hmm. And we have the chipotle raspberry, or raspberry mm -hmm. chipotle. Something That's like the that. one that I figure you're not going to like. And you might. But it's the most interesting. But it, it is, I have to admit that. I'm, and I'm probably not going to like the raspberry flavor, but it's most interesting. It says heat it up for five seconds in the microwave for amped up flavor. <laughs> That's what it says. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to uh, take it as it's uh, packaged, which is kind of interesting. Weird looking. But we're going to uh, start with the sweet. But I'll say, not only are we trying it for junk food, and we'd like to figure out what we could take that's easy, doesn't stink, fast to do, on the trails. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Okay. It does smell pretty good. It tastes like bacon fat. Yeah. And the problem is we got the tail that's kind of fatty. I got... Flavor's not bad. The flavor's though. really not bad. It's really fatty though. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not a huge sweet, but it's pretty good for sweet bacon. Um, I think I'm going to give that a two. This would be good for camping. I could see why it would work if you're... Yeah. You know, I'm giving it a two though. I don't love that one. But I'm... Um, Never really a sweet bacon. Yes. Yeah. No, it, I think it's a good one. Just not not that good. Let's see what the rest of them taste like. So we'll I mean, I would eat it. I wouldn't. I mean, there's other things I've tasted that I've given a two that I probably wouldn't eat. <laughs> we'll try the uh, sweet and spicy next, which this one is also packaged with most of the fat near the top. So let's go to the bottom. Uh, I don't think I can peel from the bottom. Oh, no. But I mean, open it all the way up and... It looks less fatty, but it's still fatty. This is so I mean, weird to handle. It's strange. <laughs> I mean, this just seems so wrong in so many different ways. Which one's this? This is the sweet and spicy. I don't taste any spicy. That being said, I don't really taste sweet either. It's got a little bit of smoky. A little. This is not very good though. I'm mm -mm. gonna give this a half. All right, yeah. I wouldn't recommend this one. I'll give it a half. Well. I don't like the way it <coughs> feels in my mouth or taste. I am wondering if these are gonna be better mm -hmm. heated. They might be, but. You know, it's not gonna have that like hard. Like I was gonna, that one might be okay if you make eggs. You know, and yeah. well, I'm throw some in there. Like I said, camping. These I can would see probably that. be better, like crumbled up on a salad than, or on a sandwich or something. With something else. Yeah, but this is, yeah, so far. But we'll try the uh, habanero heat, which is the one that I've been most excited to yeah. try. Again. <laughs> kind of fatty. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, a lot of it. You take the first bite. Ugh. <laughs> All right, I am wow. interested in tasting them hot. I mean, maybe we'll do that later. Because I'm not so... Yeah, off camera. Yeah. Flavor on this is much better. Yeah. Flavor's pretty good. Texture's really gross. But yeah, the texture is terrible. I had a feeling. So. And it's just crunchy. It's crunchy and greasy. <laughs> I had a feeling. So I'm going to be at a three. <clears throat> there it is. I would give it a three. It's a nice little bit of heat just in the back of my throat, but I like it. This is a habanero. Yeah, that's the, uh, what is it called? Habanero heat. <clears throat> that one I could actually see being really good <clears throat> on something like a turkey sandwich. If you eat turkey, I can see how that would be good. <laughs> so let's move on. 
to your most favorite one. Oh yeah. The uh, ra raspberry and chipotle. For those of you who haven't followed us for very long, I pretty much detest raspberry almost everywhere, except for really fresh ones from the garden. This sometimes. one looks like it's the least fatty though. Interesting. It really does. It smells good. It does smell very good. It just kind of looks like a beef jerky. It smells really good. I don't like... <laughs> that is terrible. Sorry. I can't. I can't. What? I was giving it to you. This I know. Too. I know. That oh. is terrible. That doesn't deserve a rating. No, I'm going to give it a half. It might be nice as a candle. <laughs> <laughs> We're it just going to take the bacon. It so good. It was horrible. We're going to take the bacon and light it on fire. There we go. Then it'll smell like we're cooking bacon and we don't have to eat it. It'll just smell good and we'll have something else. All right, so in short, Blech. skip this. <laughs> don't but do it. But that's going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you enjoyed our discussion, our disgust, <laughs> yeah, yes, our disgust with this. And we'll want to check out some of our other videos. Over here on our uh, channel, you can find a lot more of those. Hit the subscribe and bell icon if you do like what you see. But on this side, if you like our taste test videos like this, we've got a lot more of them right there.